Uh, welcome to live. Hello, at happy five. Monday. Uh, it is Monday, January the 11th. It is. And it's been a bit of a Monday, has it not? And we have yeah. Okidiate Onadawan from Hamilton. Did Oak. I say it right, Oak? It's we'll say Oak. 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 Oak from Hamilton. And Hamilton. we're really excited to talk so to him. So hey. excited to get the backstage scoop at Hamilton. Absolutely. This is the place to be on Broadway. So and we're excited. excited. It's Oak the City. Everyone's excited for Hamilton and yeah. Oak. Yeah, Hamilton. Hi. Right, we shall quickly get through the news then yes. because they really don't want to see us. No. Uh, Golden Globes were Golden last Globes. night. Not a great night for Broadway, if but we're really honest. Well, okay, but Bernadette Peters was there. Bernadette Peters was there. And Mozart in the Jungle won. Yeah, that won. And Maura Turney, who was in The Affair, she's a Broadway alum, she won. And Christian True. Slater, who's a Broadway alum, won for Mr. Ro for Mr. Robot. Um, but yeah, not, not the best night. So we'll move on from that. However, you, there was a Golden Globe winning musicals that's just gone live. Yes, we asked you to rank your favorite Golden Globe winning musicals from the past. Really hard, really hard. So there you go. The Sound of Music came in first. That's a good choice. It is good. Well done, Solid. everybody. I Solid. approve of that. Uh, Sutton Foster, uh, younger, of course, is back on our screens on Wednesday. Yes. She's leading odds and ends today. Really fun little video, so go and have a look at that. She's sort of being all lovely and Sutton and inspirational, but she also has this fantastic throwback picture. Oh, um, yeah. And it's when she was young, when she was younger. Huh? Much uh, younger. And much younger. She went to a um, Valentine's Day dance by herself, but still managed to And apparently her there was some boy called P Heath who was mean to her. Anyway, and she called him out. Heath is Look on the Heath. Today Show. Anyway, Heath is going to be, yes, a bit upset. Uh, casting news uh, mm. for Something Rotten. Uh, David Beach is taking over for yeah, Brooks coming back to Broadway. Ashmans I don't, can't say his Brooks name. Brooks Ashmanskis is going yeah. to shuffle along. That's how you say it. Um, that's how you say it. That's how you say it. Anyway, so David Beach is going into something rotten, um, and uh, yeah, and so that's about. What else do we have to say? And David, of course, David Bowie. Bowie. We know David Bowie died. I'm wondering what Lazarus is going to do in tribute, if anything. I don't Lazarus, know. the show that features his music down at New York Theatre Workshop. So um, we'll see. I sort of feel like it needs to run longer because they sold out really quickly, and no one could really go and see it. So I sort of feel it needs another life because it was he was so hands on with it. Yeah. Um, Anyway, really interesting show. They don't care about us. They're saying we want Oak. There's yeah, going to be a they riot. Really riot. Like Periscope. Beth, leave. All right, bye. 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 <laughs> Let's bring and in yeah. one of the stars of the biggest musical to hit Broadway for a very long time, Oak, who will also tell us how to say his name properly, so I don't murder it. <laughs> oh, I mean, look, they love you. Oh. They love you. Look hey. at this. So many exclamation points. They're very happy to see you. And thank you for doing this on thank Alexander Hamilton's me. birthday. Yeah. So I think we have to go in pretty close. Actually, I think maybe if you shove it up this way a bit. There we are. Right. All right. Okay, it's, it's, yes, perfect. Um, so on Alexander, Alexander Hamilton's birthday, so a big thank you for doing this. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm excited, it's fun to do something that's not Hamilton. <laughs> You know? It's like, yeah, let me just do something today. Although, I am going to have to talk to you about Hamilton. Oh, yeah, obviously. Fine. So you've been with the show from the very beginning, obviously at the public. Um, yeah. And then were you in the workshop stage as well? Yeah, it was, uh, I jumped on board the workshop right before the public run. So um, how did that happen? Were you auditioning? Did you just you know, uh, call yeah. up Lin-Manuel Miranda? I mean, how, how does no, that go? No, I just, I just auditioned. I mm -hmm. hadn't seen In the Heights. I wasn't, I'd never met him or anyone in the team. I just got called in and then I auditioned. And while I was doing Rocky, I actually auditioned for the uh, workshop. Amazing. Um, and so, but Rocky wasn't your Broadway debut, was no. it? Was Cyrano. Yeah, Cyrano. I love the show. It was it was a lot of fun, and no one really cared. Oh, but and no, and Rock, but Rocky was a lot of fun as well. I Rocky saw that. I mean, that was like a rock group. performance on Friday and Saturday yeah. nights. Um, but of course, now you're in a bona fide hit. Yeah. Um, how is it every night performing? Because you've now you know done this is your third Broadway show. Mm -hmm. I mean, it must be electric for you. It's great. I mean, really, it's it's the cast. I mean, it's mm -hmm. such a good group of people. We all have fun, and that um, even though we've been doing it for about some of us over a year now, we come to work and it's like, oh, I love you, I love you. We all get along so well, yeah. and we're such a family that it's like no matter what we're doing, if we're together, we'll find a way to make it fun. So it's like not even it's not a chore at all. And does it does it change when you've got a president Obama? In the audience, uh, I mean, does the energy change? How, I mean, I mean, you you guys obviously know when the president is there, but when there are big celebrities there, do you guys know or not, or can you depends. choose to know? Some some people want to know, some people mm -hmm. don't want to know. Um, 
Yeah, it's all re relative to each person. Everybody reacts differently depending on who's who's out there. I personally get more nervous when it's like friends and family. Really? It's like, it's like a, a, just a yeah. stranger. So if they don't like it, then I'm like, okay, you go about living your life. I go about living my life. But when it's like family, you know, you right. care more about their opinion and, and I'm going to see them indefinitely. So I hope I make a good impression. Uh, and you will have been. You will have been. You're yeah. killing it. Um, James Madison and Hercules Mulligan. Mm -hmm. Um you can't have ever thought that you'd have been playing them. No. No, actually I had a dream when Did I was you? six years old that I was gonna be playing Hercules about Hercules Mulligan and James Madison. That was it. Yeah. It was all set mm -hmm. in set set right in there. stone, right, right there, there right in the beginning, and it happened. Yeah. On Broadway doing both. Who's your favourite backstage visitor so far that you've seen or met? Uh you've had some incredible people go back. George Lucas was kind of a trip because they're just kinda of like random. <laughs> Like, I just would not have expected him to, to be there. I'm just kind of like, whoa. Everybody, everybody wants to be in the room where it happens. You I mean, know this. Yeah, but I, I thought he was just busy doing a lot of other great things. I was just kind of shocked that he was. I was like, whoa, George Lucas. I didn't even know he went to see plays. So that was pretty That was pretty cool. Um, now, this, this is a good question that's just uh, come through. If you could swap roles with anybody in the show in Hamilton, who would you swap roles with? I wouldn't necessarily swap roles. I would steal songs. Steal songs. It's more about like there's not. You just could probably certain... do that anyway. I mean, you could age fifty four below and do a show. Yeah, I would want to do it like the whole shebang, like with the costume, staging, all. Oh, that. you want to do that? Okay. Yeah, if I could, if I could, it would be. Um, it would either. I was gonna say wait for it, but I love listening to wait for it so much mm -hmm. that I don't think I really want to. Do okay. It. it would have to be like the Washington history has its eyes on you. That song. Okay. For some reason, I would love I love listening to it. If I could just sing that section and then go back and like do my track, I'd be happy. Um, and now I'm loving I'm loving all this. If you could play one of the female characters in Hamilton, who would you play? Angelica. There you go. I love Angelica. She's great. Wait for it is my jam. It's my jam too. Who's that? <laughs> J okay. Dubla. This is yeah. also a good question. If you could play any other role on Broadway, what would it be? Uh, it doesn't exist yet. Doesn't exist. Do you know? Have you got an idea? No, it's, there's, there's nothing. That just pops out. You're currently playing your dream roles on Broadway. Yeah, I'm, pl yeah, I'm playing two pretty pretty cool roles. You've also been in some big movies. You're in Gravity. Um, Is that right? No, 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 no. I was in a TV show. It was actually like a TV. Stars. It was this like okay. Stars series called Gravity. Right. Confusing um, there. Yeah. It was, I didn't do, I was just like some dude in the back. And I was like, hey, come here. And, and then, so that's when you're, and Blue Bloods as well. Were you doing anything in that? I yeah, saw, yeah, at a spot, like a guest spot on Blue Bloods, which is pretty cool. Would you like to do more TV? Yeah, yeah. What shows do you absolutely adore watching? Um, which, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Game of Thrones fan, everyone. Do you think John, do you know Jon Snow um, started out his career on the stage in the West End? Yes, I did. Yeah? Yes, I did, I did. Yeah. Uh, he was um, in War Horse. He was the original boy in War Horse. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, that's how he started. So I think he should come back to Broadway. In fact, maybe he should come back and do a show. You can both do a show together. He should come back and play As the long king. as he's not dead. Do you want him dead or not? No, you don't want him dead though yet. You want Jon no, Snow to live. I do, I do, okay. I do. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it. If you haven't seen, if you don't know about Jon Snow yet, then I'm sorry. That's not a spoiler alert. That's just not being with it. <laughs> Um, and what I also want to know about backstage is I re recently interviewed Christian Ball mm -hmm. and he was talking about how it's backstage they're all very nourishing and whatever and they always have things like smackeries, cookies and everything. Mm -hmm. How is it backstage with you? Do you have treats of choice that sort of get delivered or, um, yeah, they're, or are you they're drinking just kale? Like, there's loads of no. I mean, we, this cast, we like to eat. Right. So there's just always treats and sweets. Um, so it's really hard if you're trying not to eat treats or sweets. So just cookies, schmackeries is a thing that people like to send. Everyone loves schmackeries. But, but then like you get people who, you know, you're at the stage door and they walk up to you and they're like, oh my God, I love the show. I just baked these brownies. And like any other situation, you don't eat brownies. A complete stranger handed to yeah. you. But for this, we're like, meh, why okay. not? Let's go for it. Um, and who do you share a dressing room with? Uh, with Anthony, Anthony Ramos. Do you have a lot of, do you have a lot of fun or are there times you want to kill each other? Um, no, I don't think there are really any time. I think we balance each other out very well. Did you share at the public too? No, at the public, um, it was uh, it was a whole loads of us. There were fewer dress rooms, and okay. we were all like kind of cram, cram together. Uh, no, I think we get we get along great. He has so much energy, and sometimes I like I siphon off his energy, and I need some of that um, to get through the show. And uh, sometimes I'm just kind of like let's chill out a little bit. It balances each other out, but we get along really well. I like it. I'm still looking at this. So, uh, what do you remember the first Broadway show you ever saw? 
I want to say, I think it was Sly Fox. Really? That was the first Broadway show. I didn't grow up like. Did you did you Broadway. know did you know you wanted to do this or not? When I saw the show, no. No. no so I when did you think I want to be on Broadway? I want to act. I want to, I want to do uh, theater. Kind of went for college. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I used to play football and then, and then I got injured. Um, so I needed to figure out like what I was gonna do, and, and my father said I should audition to like study acting since I did it a bit in high school. Mm -hmm. So then when I got into a program, that's when I was just kind of like, well, I guess this is a thing that I should try and do. Um, well, you're a huge inspiration to a lot of people out there. Uh, final question because it keeps coming through. Mm -hmm. uh, what's about this about Mickey Mouse? What about this Mickey, is about Mickey Mouse? Mouse? I, I'm getting questions about Mickey Mouse. Well. Is Mickey. this a thing? Um, there's nodding going on. Mickey has. Look, kind of, Mickey. Well, Mickey. Yeah, he's kind of a. Impression. impression. Yes. Yeah. I, Are come you? on, your Mickey voice. Mickey Mouse, come on. Um, yeah. Give, it's, the, it's a, give the fans what they want. Look. It's a it's a thing that uh, I I would do a couple shows back. I just found out I had a fun Mickey Mouse voice impression and start out with me saying all sorts of like weird things. It's Mickey, which is kind of funny. Yeah, you hear yeah. Mickey say like very non Disney things. Um, so then they were doing a ham for ham, and, and I said, uh, Lynn's like, we need something. I was like, well, I can do, my initial idea was, let me just get up there and I'll say, people ask me to say anything as Mickey, and I'll say it as Mickey Mouse. So I'm like, that's really great, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of liability involved, especially the show and stuff, so uh, they shut that down. So I said, I'm just going to sing a song as Mickey Mouse. So I sang a song as, as Mickey Mouse. Okay. Do you, want, do you want to sing it now? No. You, 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 I, can't, I can't do that. I can't. You can't you do it? Have, yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. If I do it now, then it won't be a special. It's like a ham for ham thing. You All come right. for ham for ham and get it. Okay. Me. Well, Oak, thank you so very much. Thank Everybody you follow him on Twitter. It's at Oak Smash. Is yes. that right? At Oak Smash. And you are a, you're in a smash it on Broadway. And yeah. congratulations on all your success. Thank you so, so very exciting. much. Thank you for And I won't ask you a ticket. You'll get asked by everybody for a ticket. I won't do that. Bye bye, everyone. Yeah.